Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will be showing you this new M1 MacBook Pro. So, what I will be talking about in this video is how the programs have been working for me because I've been using this for about a week now when you're seeing this. Right now what you're seeing though is when I first got it and was opening the box. So, because I've been using it for a little week, I've had a little bit of time to play with the programs that I was planning on using with it, which mainly includes Blender, but I also have used a little bit of Photoshop and a little bit of Premiere Pro on it. So, I will talk about how they've been working for me on this new computer. Let's get into it. So, to start, the programs I've been using are Photoshop, Premiere Pro, VS Studio Code, Unreal, Chrome, and, of course, Blender. So, if you're here just to see what programs have been working for me, then here are my current thoughts on these programs. So, Adobe Photoshop, check. Adobe Premiere Pro, check. VS Studio Code, check. Unreal, iffy. The reason I say that is because there have been some weird lighting glitches. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Chrome, surprisingly, mm, kinda. The reason I say that is because it has been crashing a little bit, mainly because of the new M1 chip. That should be updated soon, though. Blender, check if you're using 2.91 or greater. So here in Unreal, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because I said an issue that I was having with it, and the rest of them have been working fine, but I am going to go in depth with Blender after I talk about Unreal. So as you can see, I am having some issues with lighting. There's some weird green and purple lighting. This might be my fault, but it also could be the computer. I'm not quite sure and haven't been able to figure out the issue. Other than that, everything has been working fine. As you can see, my start of a game has been working. So, that is pretty much good. I have tried making a new project, by the way, and that still didn't fix the issue. But, let's go to Blender now. So, here I am in Blender, and as you can see, there is a car. This car I actually made. Um, while I've had this computer, the reason I made this car was to test out this computer and see how it worked while actually making something. So, I do have a time lapse of this coming out soon, but at the moment, this is what I have. And as far as actually making anything in Blender, I haven't actually ran into any issues. And as you can see, I just switched to Cycles, and it has been working. That was fixed already, because you may have already heard that if you use 2.9, then there is an issue where the Blender will literally just crash. I did actually try it, this, and... It did just crash, along with the fact that you would, when you would duplicate an object, it would stick to the other object, which was a pain, but that got fixed too. So as for doing Blender on this computer, it's been working great, and speed-wise, definitely an improvement from my other computer. So that basically does it for talking about the programs I wanted to show you. But now I just want to do a speed test comparing the three computers that we have in our house. So let's do this test. It is a Blender test and before I actually speed this up, I will mention that the one on the left is the new MacBook Pro and the one in the middle is a basic model of an iMac. I will show you the tech specs on screen. And the one on the right is the, a MacBook Air, which I will also show you the tech specs on screen right now. So now that you know what these are, let's speed this up and I'll show you the times of when they finish. So let's go. Well, there we have it. There are the computers finishing. And as I expected, it did go in order from the MacBook Air was last, and then the MacBook Pro, and then the iMac. But 
I, what I was surprised by was how much faster that MacBook Pro is compared to the MacBook Air and then even how it compares to an iMac because that iMac is a 2020 model. So that was very impressive. So here are the times pulling up on screen. But that pretty much does it for me today. I hope you found this interesting. But bye!